One major issue for Huawei over the last few years has been the lack of Google Play services. Huawei's app gallery has come a long way and these days it does contain most apps that we actually need. Still, the lack of Google Play services means we can't get access to Google's first party apps, the ones that need a GMS to run. Now, in the past, we've seen workarounds like GSpace to kind of get around this, but they did come with their own set of cons. GSpace, till you paid for it, for example, it had way too many ads, and at times it was also a little inconsistent. But now, we finally have an excellent workaround to get first party Google Apps running perfectly fine on Huawei devices. Hey guys, Ash here from C40 Tech, and let's take a closer look at Gbox in today's video. So, the first question what is Gbox? Well, as the name indicates, it stands for Google Box. It basically allows you to run multiple instances of an app on your phone and can even do that on phones without GMS. And that's the part that becomes very interesting for people using Huawei phones. Guys, it's super simple. Just go on to Huawei's app gallery, search for a Google app that you want. In this case, let's go with YouTube. Once the results pop up, you see how the subtext says run YouTube in Gbox. Let's tap install. Once you do, there's this little pop up to the bottom. The following app needs to be installed, Gbox. Now hit install, and off. let's give it a couple of seconds to be done with the installation. Once the installation is done, you will see both the Gbox app as well as the Google app, which in this case is YouTube on your home screen. Let's open up YouTube now. Once opened, it'll ask you for some permissions that Gbox needs. Let's give it that. Guys, the first time you launch an app, it will take a few seconds. The app itself tells you pretty much the same with this message. The first startup needs to initialize Google services. Please wait a moment, initializing the environment. But after this, every time you use it, it's gonna be just like a regular app with respect to app launch times. And now we have YouTube. And before we play around with it, let's jump out and jump into the newly installed Gbox app. Once you open it, you've got the user and privacy policy agreements, and then a disable battery optimization prompt. Now the battery optimization part, it needs to be disabled so that the app isn't put into sleep in the background so that you can continue to get notifications from the Google Apps that you're running using Gbox. Now you can see that YouTube app that's been installed already and also a plethora of other options are available to you to install and run right from the Gbox app. Let's now choose another app from this list. Let's go with YouTube Music here. And once you tap it, you get taken to this Google sign-in screen. Here you're gonna have to sign into your Google account and this only needs to be done once. You're not gonna have to do this for every app you install, it's just once and then you can use your account. And here we have a prompt that basically informs you what's going on, that Gbox is a virtual environment, as in per Google, it's some random Android device. So guys, when you sign into a new device, you might get an email notification, like this one. It's This is a notification email I got when I signed into an Xperia 5 Mark II. Basically, the prompt here, it informs you not to be worried if you get an email that says you're signed into some random Android device, because this is a virtual environment. Anyways, let me sign in. And also, once you install the app, you get this prompt to add it to home screen. Once you confirm, you get a shortcut like this, and it will also show you that this app is running via Gbox with that little Gbox pick as a subscript of sorts. So what do you guys think about Gbox? Do you think this will alter your thought process on if you should consider a Huawei phone or not? Uh, is it a good enough workaround for you, or do you think you, you're still gonna wait and see if things change? Or are you already fine with just using App Gallery let me know your thoughts in the, in the comments below. And with that, I guess it's time for me to bid you adieu. We are at the end of today's video. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Until next time, my name is Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.